Hello, in this video we will understand about the adipose tissue. This is a person contain a lot of fat but is not visible. It is healthy person but it can. For example, the brown fat cell contain a less droplet of the lipids. Biggie fat is the intermediate while the white fat cell contain a lot of lipid droplet which that will lead to nucleus push periphery of the cell. First of all, we will understand about the white adipose tissue and their characters. So the white adipose tissue is important for the storage of energy, glucose con conversion into the adipose tissue, into the lipid. Whenever you, when you will eat food, will convert into the glucose, enter into the blood circulatory system is known as absorption of food. When it, it go into the blood circulatory system, the hyperglycemia will occur, the Glucose will rise, will enter into the beta cell of pancreas, will lead to GLUT2 channel, will lead to beta cell activation to degranulation of the insulin. Insulin will rise into the blood is known as the hyperinsulinia. But it can be bound with the insulin receptor of the adipose tissue and muscle cell and several tissue to enter the uh, glucose through GLUT4 channel. Triacylglycerol conversion from the glucose is known as a lipogenesis. So the lipogenesis will occur and reserve food into fats will lead to also cause obesity. Let's learn about the white adipose tissue. The white adipose tissue contain a few mitochondria but also contain a GLUT4 channel. The glucose allowed to move inside due to the high and the spike of the insulin and in this way the triacylglycerol will lead to produce the lipid droplets are bigger. Nucleus are present in the periphery so the flattened peripheral nucleus and the spherical adipocytes shape uncoupling protein UCP not detectable. Uncoupling protein UCP not detectable and the little endoplasmic reticulum are present. The localization of this adipose tissue is subcutaneous on the skin, below the skin, intra-abdominal, below the abdominal skin and the epicardial, uh, epicardial means the cover of the heart and the gonadal as well as renal. The storage of energy is important for this white adipose tissue. Play important role for the storage of energy. Anywho, the skin is contain a epidermis, dermis, a hypodermis. Hypodermis contain a, it is subcutaneous. Will contain a adipose tissue, which that is important, and their function is the insulation. Uh, in cold weather, shock absorption and protection against the light. So the light will not pass into the body due to the white color. So that is why the all light will be transmit back, uh, reflect. Let's understand about the intermediate and then we will understand about the brown fat. Intermediate fat cell is big, uh, big adipose tissue. Contain uh, mitochondria appear after stimulate but less but also contain UCP1 after stimulate. UCP is important for the production of heat so remember that things. And in this way the white adipose tissue will not contain UCP1. So in this way the thermogenesis will not, will not occur from the white adipose tissue but BG adipose is the precursor of the thermogenic thermogenic potential so thermogenic potential containing this big adipose and the, uh, emerges white adipose uh, tissue depart with the appropriate stimuli for example this stimuli from the white adipose tissue will convert this big adipose tissue from the vitamin D K A etc on the other hand the oxidants exercise fasting puberty and beta oxidation as well as ketogenesis is important for the conversion of this big adipose tissue. After this it will be converted for example into the brown adipose tissue. A certain factors is involved for this conversion like light, food, inhibition during the fasting time. So the more lipolysis will lead to cause more browning 
and on the other hand the increase of the mitochondria the cold weather is also involved will, will require the non thermogenic non shivering thermogenesis exercise require also the production of heat and the brain is give the signal for this conversion from the uh, big adipose tissue into the brown adipose tissue like brain will give the signal into the growth hormone follicular stimulating hormone and thyroid stimulating hormone will collectively uh, testosterone and t3 and t4 and growth hormone collectively will convert this big adipose to the brown fat let's begin to understand the brown fat the brown fat contain a lot of mitochondria and this adipose tissue is basically contain a, a lot of the ucp protein the transcription of the ucp protein will be more in this adipose tissue and in this way here is the uncoupling protein is more and the large number of feed, uh, uh, in large number of mitochondria are present this is the oval central oval central nucleus and the localization is intra inter, uh, sorry interscapular peripheral cervical supraclavicular and this multiple smaller lipid droplet are present rather than the bigger droplet like white adipose tissue and this basically is the elliptical and smaller than uh, white adipose tissue is the cell and this is elliptical not uh, rounded non shivering thermogenesis will produce energy like this is the inner mitochondrial membrane contain ucp the proton will move inside will lead to produce dissipate the heat this heat is lead to protect our body and our vital organ during the cold weather so the brown fat is the different and it contain less amount of the fat while the white adipose tissue contain a lot of more fat and spill over to lead to cause obesity if too much and the big adipose tissue is the intermediate not any harmful but the white adipose tissue excessment will lead to cause obesity and other uh, other disease like inflammation the low grade inflammation thanks for watching please make sure to subscribe like and share bye